Well, a lot has happened since you saw us last at Feral Flats. We did Saddleworth for a couple of three nights. Uh, good power, water, showers, and very, very nice, quite peaceful surroundings. That was good. And then we went to Tali, that was uh, last night, and had a very nice night there. We thought it was gonna be pretty pretty noisy because it was quite quite close to the road, but she died off and it was beautiful. Um, Tali was a oval with a donation camp. That was a nice little spot. Now, we've traveled down the hill. I don't know whether you can see there, but uh, the Grenock, G-R-E-E-N-O-C-K. This is where we are, Grenock. Um, I think it's a cricket oval. Getting ready for the cricket anyway. Uh, big shout out to Turtle Tracks. You put me onto this, uh, watched one of your YouTube vids and thought, wow, that looks nice. And you said how nice and close it was to all the, uh, some of the activities around in the Barossa Valley. So that's where we're heading to over the next few days. Um, but today is just get ourselves settled in and relaxed and uh, move on. And at the moment, we're really, really lucky to snag a spot over on uh, the side here with uh, some reasonable uh, solar input, which is good. And I can point Starlink out to the south underneath the trees. So that's going good. Um, however, some of the other spots here, hey, they're nice, they're in the shade, um, but some of them are a little bit uneven and things. So, uh, but hey, thank you, Grenop, for putting on such uh, fantastic little facilities. Um, just a stone's throw away from a lot of activities. And that's where we're going to be, Barossa, Grenop. That's where we're planning on going, so stay tuned. Morning. Well, not quite up real bright and early this morning. Um, a little cloudy and overcast, so it was a good little day to probably sleep in a bit. But uh, yeah, 10 o'clock's rocked on and uh, we've hooked it into town. Um, we've gone through to Angerston from um, Greenock and I thought, well, it is early and uh, we don't really want to start hitting the sampling wines and bits and pieces too soon. So uh, we like a good cheese. So uh, we've arrived let's say in Angerston and uh, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the Barossa Valley Cheese Company they should know what they're doing let's go and give them a try right we're into it this morning so um, you can just see the plate in front of us so we've got a little tasting selection here at the Barossa Cheese um, we've got a um, was it a brie yep and a Triple brie. Triple brie, and believe it or not, we've got a buffalo cheese, yep. and followed by a goat cheese. And I understand from the lady that the buffalo is from some buffalo down the way, and they are um, Asian buffaloes, apparently. Also, these two are the hard cheeses, and the two first ones are soft. Hard and soft. So, good way to start the morning. Let's give it a go. We have a verdict. Buffalo was good, but hey, yeah, nice little spot. That's them working out the back, apparently, making the cheeses. And then there's a, um, an aging room, and then there's a couple of fridges down here. The first fridge that you see here is from International Cheeses and uh, Further Effects Cheeses, and the second fridge down there is ones that they make themselves. So they have a pretty good selection. So Barossa Cheese in uh, Augustan, I think it was. Dick, good tasty. Toodled a bit further down the road, we come to this place called Chateau Dorian, I think they call it, and uh, it's got that chateau sort of appeal, all these lovely big old, well I think they're wine vats, converted into castles. <laughs> Dude couldn't get out of this place fast enough, yeah, she was out of the motorhome before I even put the handbrake on, and I think it's got something to do, they do honeymeads, and of course I 
I don't know whether I've said it before, but we tend to like the sweeter wines. We always go for the port, the late harvest, the liqueurs. Oh, love that. So she's into the tasting already, and I better go and supervise. <laughs> Here we go. My name is Levi. We are Chateau Dorian here in the Barossa Valley. We are specialists in ports and meads, and if you've not been here before, you likely have never found one of our products because we only sell direct to customer. So no bottle shops, restaurants, pubs, exporters, anything like that. We are just direct to customer. We've been that way for 38 years. We're yeah. a small family business. Yep. Awesome. So, of course, we do wine. We're a wine making family. We have a lot of wine list here. You've got three sweet wines off a list of eight. So there's four dries and three sweets. And then you've also got, we've also got um, our five fortifieds and our five needs. So fortifieds is just, it's port. We do more than just the standard port. We've got rum, raisin, chocolate, and black currant. And then in terms of mead, if you've not had mead before. Not had mead yet, yeah, but okay. like a very long time ago. Sure. It is alcohol made from honey, and it's thought to be the oldest form of alcohol. And we, again, do more than just the standard mead. No, I'm okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So is there anything particularly you want to do the ports and meads rather than the wines, or...? I think I'd like, uh, well, we'll see how Juco's if we can get her back. Yeah, but, sure. Um, I think we'll look at... Um, I, 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 I like the meat. meat. I like yeah, the meat. Yeah, sure, the meat. Excellent. So that is our specialty. No one else in the Barossa yeah. Valley does it. Well, I think I've, uh, yeah, I kind of like redeemed myself with picking this one. Very, very good vineyard to come to. Not only is it a, an experience, uh, Levi is very knowledgeable in what he does, but just to come here for the, uh, the artifacts, the museum, the history that's behind behind this massive big barn. It's huge. Look at it. Look at the size of it up there. So no, there's some really nice little trinkets. Highly recommended. Um, yes, it's uh, it hurt me a little bit in the pocket, <laughs> but it's going to be fantastic memories. Um, sitting around a fireplace and having a little sip of some lovely meads and liqueurs. But yeah, look at look what they've done to the place there. Pretty incredible. Anyway, we better get on to our next port of call. I seem to feel like another little bit of food coming on. Bit of a change of pace from the uh, Dorian Chateau. We're now going to Maggie Beers. Now these guys do grazing boards, wine, gin, cider, cocktail, beers. I was hoping for some ice cream and cider. We'll give it a go. Well, the nice thing with Maggie's Beers is that you have this beautiful little outlook onto their little lake. And it has a uh, selection of birds. And uh, quite lucky to have a, a few little turtles. How's that? A grand little spot out here to enjoy it. I think we've got a cider coming and a little cheese platter again. Well, there you go. We're leaving Maggie's beers and uh, it's a tick of approval. Thumbs up. Yeah, it was nice. We, you ended up grabbing a um, meat platter. A little, yeah, a little cheese meat pate platter. And we watched the turtles. Oh, they are so cute. <laughs> they make your day just watching those guys just float around. There's about nine of them. See if you can count more than nine if you ever come to Maggie's beers in South Australia here um, in the Barossa. Good. Oh, and uh, what was it that we had a quince, all these trees and flower at the back here. We found out they were quinces. And um, yeah, so we had a, a, was it a quince pickle of some sort? Yeah, and a quince, um, the red one was a quince too. Like a oh, no, that was nice too. Okay, on to the next challenge, which I didn't find an ice cream. So let's see if we can find another one. Next destination, and one that I don't think I've gone past in Australia. You've got, uh, what is it, the Swan Valley Chocolate Factory, and you've got the Margaret River Chocolate Factory, and I've made it to the Barossa Valley Chocolate Factory. Let's go and check it out. Oh, let's see if I can find that ice cream and a bit of chocolate.
chocolate, the chocolate factory at Barossa. It's very nice. Very big uh, catering facility out here. Nice deck overlooking um, pretty deep looking pond. <laughs> um, probably the chocolate area isn't as big as Margaret River and um, Swan Valley that I remember, but um, definitely got a bigger eatery area. It's very popular. We made it. What do you got, Jude? I got rum and raisin and cookberry. She's over there somewhere. <laughs> rum and raisin and cookberry. Yeah, and I got um, cookies and cream and um, good old kiwi hokey pokey. Well, they called it something else. What do they call it? Uh, honeycomb. Pass. Honeycomb. Anyway, not a bad little chocolate shop to go and visit. It was smaller than the um, the Swan Valley, you reckon, in Margaret River, as yeah. far as the chocolate side of things goes. Yeah. But as far as meals goes, yeah, it was a huge cafeteria, so if you want a good place to go and eat, it looked pretty good. And it had a nice little balcony that goes out over a, another big pond which probably got turtles and things in. So, yeah, not a bad little place. And of course, you can get your ice creams. On to the next spot. Where is that? 